All right, who should I put in? I'm gonna look through the. There's like seven what the what's. I'm pretty sure they're all just there to waste my time. <laughs> uh, Subsonic Sparkles here. Let's put him in. You gotta black it up a little. What's up, Subsonic? Are you there? Did you know you were getting called on? Did you already tab over to something else? I am here, I'm here. There you are. What's going on? Uh, what's, what's up, guy? What you want to argue I haven't, about? I haven't heard your voice in a long time. I have... I feel like I have heard your voice, but I don't know why or where. The last time I said anything to you was that great podcast that we did, which I just found out earlier never got released in fixed quality. So let me just say to everyone here, I will be uploading... Like a good version of that podcast that we did like a year and a half ago. It, wasn't it only on? Uh, it was on SoundCloud in good in like the fixed version, right? No, he never did. I I just checked that. I thought you had uploaded it to SoundCloud. I, I was gonna, but you told me not to. But it's been like a year now, so you know. I berated it? Jeff in person over that uh, at at Crunchyroll Expo. I told him that's why I don't work with him anymore. Is that he released a shitty that version? That podcast. That okay. So f for context for the audience. There was a podcast that we did, the the one that was the the, the uh, response to my drama video. Incredible, incredible which, in which your audio, first of all, all the audio levels were fucking awful. Yeah, like, it, it, it sounded like terrible. shit, and your audio cuts out like an hour and a half before the end, and you re rent, you spent all day re rendering the video, <laughs> reconstructing it. I spent a long time. I I re-edited re everything. I fixed every little problem. Yeah. I like maddoxed it. I, I cleaned everything out. I, uh, it, it was, was the, the good version. You uploaded yeah. it to YouTube, and then Jeff Almost. was, was like, like 90% uploaded. Yeah, you, you posted like the 90% upload, and then Jeff, who had been gone all day, shows up and is like, Oh, don't upload that. It, it'll like affect the the whatever. It'll affect the SEO or something, or it'll affect the like uh, the searchability of the video. So he told you not to upload it you know, and to just, YouTube, so to just put it on question. SoundCloud. And then I guess neither of you ever did put it on I, I, When I did, right after that, I made an audio version. I sent it to him and said thanks, but it never went up. Tons yeah. Of, I guess he forgot. Well, I thought that that was horse shit because the podcast only had like, it had probably 10,000 views at the time that you were almost done with your upload. And yeah, it went yeah, on yeah, to yeah. get like I, I, almost 200K. I, I mean, it could have been swapped out at that time for sure. Yeah, you know? it could have. So if you want to put like the... If you, if you feel so inclined to put the, the fixed version on your on whatever channel you want, or I, I can just put it on You SoundCloud. can just put it on your channel, because frankly, I do not want to have to ever listen to that again. It's four and a half hours long. It, it was a great, that was the best podcast I've ever been a part of. That was great. Jimmy was there, and uh, Pantic Romantic was there. Pedro, Pedro. That, that podcast was, for me, like, the moment that I truly understood that it was all, that like, Okay, basically I created a big drama and then Jeff somehow made like $300 probably off of it. And I don't know how that <laughs> happened, but I felt like I, I got tricked into participating in it because Jeff said something to the effect of, oh, you know, accusing me of stealing your jokes but not having any evidence could be considered libel. And oh, I went, yeah, that, well, was, that was an interesting comment. I guess I'll fucking do your podcast then, you fucking ass. It, it was good though, we had a lot of good made some good points it was just completely unlistenable so yeah well anyway so what do you what do you think i'm here for i don't know i have no idea what you're here to argue about. Right, let me tell a brief story very brief all right so this is a great story to tell all the time all right so about three years ago you put out a video about some magical girl show yes uh what is it called the one with the brown hair she has lyrical nano how that's it yes and i put in the comments hey digi Make a video about Clannad off the story, uh -huh. and then you said, infamously, "Do it yourself." Uh huh. And I was like, "All right, fine." So I sat around, I bought some stuff, I pirated Sony Vegas, yes. and I made some videos, and then I made some more, and then a few more. Yeah. And now, two and a half years later, I'm finally here to finish what I started. You were wrong. You're wrong, and Clannad is a great show with a okay. beautiful message that is unique in anime and unique in storytelling in general. And that message is that life is suffering. Life and suffering are inseparably intertwined. Uh huh. Okay? To open yourself up to anything is to open yourself up to the possibility of suffering. To love okay. anything is to open yourself up to the possibility of heartbreak. To yes. receive anything is to open yourself up to the possibility of loss. Yes. And they will come. They are forces of nature. 
Yeah. Those things are still valuable. My favorite my shows about that. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Well, that's, that show is a bit more social. It's more about opening yourself up to relationships and uh, being being comfortable with the idea of being judged and being okay with with other people, uh -huh. I guess. But this is a show about the very me the, the human struggle to find value in the face of all this ceaseless suffering. Mm. And to care about things, even though you know those things would be taken away. And the thing the show bends over backwards to communicate to us time and time again is that that value is still real. And in fact, planting your feet in the face of suffering is the meaning of life. Because in that comes growth and empathy. And every story in the show, just reiterating this exact same point, is basically the same setup every time of love and beauty and harmony being juxtaposed by chaos and tragedy and the characters trying to reconcile this over the course of their arc and realize that that is life and that okay. weathering the suffering is the thing that makes you strong and in that suffering is burden a burden to protect the thing are you just like you reading your script done. like uh, you, you no i've written no script i've uh, just okay. had this video in my head for two and a half years All so right. i'm getting off my chest so, in right. that burden, so, is okay. a burden to protect the things that you consider valuable, and in that comes responsibility, and that is in fact the meaning of life. So, uh, what part of that comes through in the part where, like, you know, like, Tomoyo is like, beating up a guy for this, like, eighth time, episode after episode? You know the guy. The part where she, like, punches him, like, a hundred thousand times. Not Katari, oh, the other oh, the, girl. The, the, the dumb comedy part? So, so, yeah, that's just, all, that's I'm all, just... That's all flip. That's all fill. That's all cream fill. What, what I want to ask you is, like, do you think that the whole show conveys that theme, or just after story? I think the whole show consistently. I think every arc is saying the same thing every single time. It's basically the same story over and over again. It's just telling it in different ways. Of just having something beautiful but needing to risk it in the face of tragedy and realizing that it's always worth it every time. And we follow this this des this broken character who's realized that the best way to confront tragedy and uncertainty and chaos is just to be despondent and not care about things until he finds somebody that cares so much about things that in spite of her frail constitution that he's inspired by her to stop running from things because all he can do is run constantly from all of the all of his mistakes and his family and his friends and his wife and his kid over and over again, even his marriage was more or less just running away from the responsibilities that have been bestowed upon him. But I figure out what the fuck I have to do you know, in this goddamn game. Kind of accepting the suffering is what makes you an adult. And knowing that there's always suffering on the other end is what gives you that drive to be better and to take some responsibility for the things that you've deemed valuable. And that's what I love about the show. I don't think there's another show that's told that story in quite that way. And it tells the same story over and over again till the very end. And I like that. It's cool. Okay. I'm a, I, I don't think it's the best show ever. It's probably not even in my top five anymore. I don't think it's flawless. But I think that story is really, really interesting. You know, I am I accept your reasons for liking Clannad. I would say that <laughs> the first half of the show is so fucking boring that, like... <laughs> Even if I th was thinking about those themes the entire time while, while watching it, I would just be like, man, I sure don't like anything about these characters or this world or setting or plot. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's fine. But if, if you do, if, if a person like me does really click with the themes and it's all backed up by this gorgeous, perfect directing and presentation and sound design, it can be, it can be a great time. And yeah. I, I, I do look forward to rewatching the show whenever I do. Just because it has, it just has a lot of stuff that I respond to. Well, you know, I'm I I'm, I'm happy to I'm happy to play host to such an impassioned um, speech of, of about your your love for this show. Though, again, why couldn't you have just made that a, a video? Why did you have to rant that to me in in this? Why was I'm busy? I'm how busy. are we I'm supposed playing, to argue I'm about that? Switch E three's coming up. I'm, I'm, you know, all right, get the I'm a busy fuck guy. Out of here, you. <laughs>